so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today we're going to be doing rather a different video and today rather than talking about books I'm going to be talking about tea. So quite often on Instagram and booktube I get people asking me what tea I drink especially because I have lots of pictures of Instagram of mugs of tea and obviously I have the tea intro in the beginning of my booktube video so I thought today I would give you a tour of my tea cupboard which sounds really weird but me and Nick have a cupboard or at least half a cupboard in our flat which is full entirely of tea so I thought I would show you what teas we have what teas I drink and kind of tell you a little bit about the teas and why I like them because people seem to ask this is one of those videos that I've been meaning to make for ages but it's never felt like bookish enough to warrant a slot of like two or three videos a week but good for vlogmas so there we go let's get talking about tea so at the back of my tea cupboard I have hot drinks that are not tea because they are drunk much less often than the tea. We do have hot chocolate every now and then but neither of us drink coffee. The coffee is there for occasionally guests and also for making coffee cake like once or twice a year. I believe we've had that coffee thing for three years and we've only had half of it and most of it has gone into cakes. And then we also have Lemsit for you know colds in winter and so on. So on to the teas. Let's start with the main one. Here is a very large pack of English breakfast tea. English breakfast tea is definitely the tea I drink the most. I have a cup at least every morning and I often have one like if I'm at home on the weekends I will have more and I often drink a lot of English breakfast tea at work as well so this tea gets a lot of use hence why it is an absolutely massive packet. Another tea I drink a lot of is a Sam. A Sam is another like kind of morning tea. I don't usually have it like first but if I have another cup of tea after English breakfast tea on the weekend in the morning I will probably have a Sam and I also often drink a cup when I get back from work. I really like a Sam it's quite like strong and malty but I don't know if I actually know what that means or if that is what it says on the packet and therefore that's what I think it means. So we have um, Tesco Finest Assam and then I also have two different loose leaf varieties. I really like loose leaf tea, it can be really like flavourful um, but I don't drink it that much just because it's a slight pain to put together. I do have a little teapot that has like a filter in it but I'm more likely to use tea bags for the most part. The Boston Tea Party one in the middle my brother gave me for Christmas and I really really like it. It's really really good, strong, nice flavoured Assam um, and Assam is definitely one of my favourite teas. I think also if you like English breakfast tea you'll probably like a Sam. Another tea I drink quite a lot of is Earl Grey. I really like the flavour of Earl Grey. I think it was the first tea I discovered that I really liked after English breakfast tea or maybe even the first tea I discovered that I liked because surprisingly for someone who drinks so much tea as I do now, I'm talking like six cups of tea a day, I didn't actually like tea until I was like 19 or 20. Um, it's relatively recent. I didn't like tea very much as a teenager but one tea that I did like more than other tea was Earl Grey. I think it's because it has a slightly stronger flavour and it's slightly floral and it just tastes really good and um, so I have plenty of of twinings here. I've got um, a very large box of Earl Grey tea bags and also some loose leaf tea as well. My favourite black tea is probably Salon, although English breakfast tea is the kind I drink the most because I always have it in the morning. Salon is like my favourite go-to other black tea and usually if I'm drinking tea at home in like the evenings or during the day on the weekend I'll often have Salon as a kind of go-to. It tastes really really nice. It's slightly like it's not necessarily as strong as something like a Sam, um, but it just has a really, really good flavour. Talking of Salon, I have a slightly different kind of Salon here. This is winter Salon tea made by Basileur. So I got this tea at a Christmas market I went to. It must be two years ago. And it's kind of sat in the back of the tea cupboard and I only remembered about it recently. It tastes really good. So this tea, the one on the left, is um, Salon tea, but it has like cranberry in as well so it tastes like kind of Christmassy and festive which is really, really nice and then the right is um, a slightly different version of the salon tea which comes inside a book just because they were very cool. Another black tea I really like is Darjeeling. I don't know why we have two different brands of Darjeeling here but there we go. Darjeeling is a bit more like Earl Grey um, in a way. It's kind of a bit floral um, but it's stronger I suppose in some ways. Um, Darjeeling is one of those teas that I really don't like too strong but I really like it weaker um, and I think it tastes really nice and it's just another different unusual black tea and one that I would usually have yeah kind of in place of or the same kind of time of day that I would have Earl Grey. Then we have Lapsang Souchong again I don't really know how I have managed to acquire two different sets of tea bags of this but there we go. This is a tea that I really really like but I don't drink too often. It is a black tea but it's the only black tea I think I own that I wouldn't drink with milk and it tastes incredibly smoky like the smell is amazing. It is the best smelling tea I have ever had in my life and it just tastes smoky. There's no other way to describe it. It's really really delicious and really really nice um, and quite strong so I would usually only have like a smaller cup of this and it's one that I don't drink that often but often if I want like a tea without milk but I don't want to have um, some chamomile tea which I'll get onto in a minute then this would be like my go-to one um, and it's one that I really really enjoy. This is a tea I had like never heard of until Nick discovered it but he really likes it and I really like it too. Now onto some flavoured black tea. This is Blue Mountain Tea made by T2. T2 are a company that makes loose leaf tea and in general I think their tea tastes really good um, and the Blue Mountain one is really nice. It's just like a slightly different black tea and it tastes quite good. It's loose leaf so I would usually make, make it in a little teapot that has a strainer in um, and carry on with it. I've had this for a while actually and I don't drink it that often. It's not the loose leaf tea I would like auto 
automatically go to but it, it does taste really good and then another one from t2 is girly gray which i think i got for christmas maybe last year this is another just like variety of earl gray it tastes really nice and is another loose leaf one that i sometimes drink and then this is caramel tea from the bath tea house emporium you can't see the name because i've cut off the label at the top but the bath tea house emporium is my favorite tea shop ever and um, when i lived in bath i used to buy so much tea from there um and now if i ever go back to bath i make sure to buy as much tea as possible because it does the most amazing flavored black tea my favorites when i was living there were the caramel which i still have some of there which is a flavored black tea and also has like literal bits of caramel in it so when you pour the hot water into the teapot that has the loose leaf tea in then it melts the caramel so that the tea tastes of caramel it's so good it's amazing it tastes absolutely delicious um, and is definitely one of my favorite teas and they are definitely a tea company i would absolutely recommend and another one from the tea house emporium this is the cinnamon and apple tea um, which i really really like the flavor of it's another flavor black tea but it's probably one i'm more likely to drink without milk um it tastes really nice um and very sort of floral and very much tastes of cinnamon and apple so it's a good kind of wintry tea as well i'm looking forward to drinking some more of this as we get into the winter months and off the black tea into other things we also have some green tea in our cupboard this is just the general pure green tea from twinings which i do quite like i don't love green tea green tea is quite good for like digestion so green tea is something i will drink if i feel really full if i've had a large meal but it's not a tea that i would usually reach for and green tea is also one of those teas that when it's quite hot i quite like it but the moment it gets slightly cold i really really can't stand the flavor um, i don't know why it just changes quite a lot but i've often found that with herbal teas or non-black teas whereas i could drink a cup of black tea a bit cold and it would kind of be fine so green tea is one that i quite like but i'm not super fond of and i don't drink that much so another kind of tea i drink just as regularly as english breakfast tea is what i call sleepy tea which i have every night before before I go to bed and Nick has joined me in that habit too. So for some reason I have always called chamomile tea and other such teas sleepy tea. I think it's because as a teenager the kind of tea that was based on chamomile that me and my mum used to buy and drink was actually called sleepy tea or maybe sleepy time tea. So me and my mum got into the habit of just calling it sleepy tea and of drinking it. In fact I liked chamomile tea I think long before I liked um, sort of black teas and I think also because as a teenager I used to have a lot of trouble sleeping and I did feel that it helped so we used to buy like a wide variety of different kinds of chamomile based tea including that one called sleepy tea and i've just kind of carried on that habit and i do find it makes me feel like more relaxed before i go to bed to drink some kind of tea like that so you have four different kinds here on the far left is twining sleep tea which i quite like i don't love it it's a bit too i don't know it's it's not my favorite kind of chamomile tea i think because like the vanilla and passion flower flavorings in it like slightly overpower the chamomile i do like it but i don't like it too strong and then moving towards the right we have the clipper sleep easy tea i quite quite like this one um again this tastes quite nice and then on the right we have my two favorite kinds of chamomile tea twining's chamomile and honey and twining's chamomile and spiced apple i really really like both of these especially the spiced apple that is my favorite i really really like it it tastes so nice um and nick and i both like these so we have them quite often of an evening um and they definitely make me feel like more relaxed before going to sleep and that is all my team so now i just need to find space for it all again in the cupboard mm -hmm. 